Okay, the video that I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to show you some tricks on the on the onboard computer. Right here, the display right here. So what you first want to do is turn your key forward to the uh, second on position without turning on the vehicle. And you'll see all the lights on like this. So the first thing that I'm going to do, oh, later I'm going to I'm going to um, go through the functions and tell you some of the some of the ones that I know of. Cause I got some. Um, I looked it up online, and um, I'm gonna just explain some of them. But uh, I'm gonna put the rest of it in the description. So the first thing, we'll, and I'm gonna try to reset this on uh, oil light. So supposedly we we're, were able to. So right now I'm, I'm on three. So I'm gonna try to reset it right now and see if it works. So the first thing you wanna do this uh, button right here. You wanna hold it down. For like, let me see for how long. Okay, now now it, it's see how it changed right here. So I'm on menu one. On the on the car engine cluster data. So this is how this thing works. So I'm on number one. It, the menu this menu this menu right here goes up to number twenty one. It goes up to twenty one. And um the the menus just say if you um the the information I'm gonna put in the description and just say if, um whatever one you want to go into I want to test the lights and all the stuff on my dashboard so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to number two then when I go to number two and if I want to go into the settings of number two for testing my lights uh, testing the cluster system and all that, the activation and all the gauges and all that. To enter it, you have to push this button and then release it when you see number two. So when you're in there, if you want to uh, get out of the menu, what you do, you have to hold the button down until you until the zero goes away. So right now I'm going to exit number one. So the zero went away. And I'll push it. Wait, hold on. I'll Okay, let go one. There, there's two. So now I let it go. Now I'm, I'm in the the number two um, setting. And then if I push this button one more time, it's gonna test it because I'm in that menu. So if I push it one more time, it's gonna it's gonna do that function. Then when I push it and hold it, it's gonna take me out of the menu. So right now I'm just gonna push it and test my um, gauges. So right now it's testing it. So these are the things that you see on YouTube, but nobody explains how to do it. They're just trying to show off the little dashboard. So that's the one way to find out how all your gauges are working properly. Okay, so if I push it again, and it, and it's going to do it. But what I'm going to do is push it and hold it so I could get out of this menu. So push it, hold it, and now the zero went away. Oh, I... Because if you push it and hold it, you get out of the menu. But if you don't push it again, it will throw you back into the menu. So what you want to do is push it, hold it, then push it again, then go to the next menu. So to unlock all the features onto the on the on the from 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 one to twenty one to unlock the features, you have to go to the number nineteen. So we're gonna go to number nineteen right now. See, that's how you're supposed to do it, how I did it right now. So, what you want to do to number 19, let it go. So, now it says L on, uh, L off. So, what you want to see is hit, hit when it's L off, you push that button to act to, um, to um, turn it on. So, off, then push it. So, now we're back to... Oh, no, we went, we, I think because I had it on already, so it kicked me back to the menu. But I'm going to try to reset this engine light, uh, the oil service light, and see if it works. I'm going to go to number 21. I believe it's 21, but let's test it. 21. Oh, I have to unlock the features again because I think I disabled them. 
So I'm on about a 19. Nineteen. Then turn it up. off. Okay, there. It's off. Oh, they're working out because they didn't kick me out of the menu like last time. So I'm gonna go to twenty-one and see what happens. Okay. And then I'm in the menu, so I'm gonna push it and see what happens. Erase and hold it. Hmm. What happened? I was resetting everything. But it didn't reset my engine light. So I'm I'm still new to this so it didn't work but it reset it the whole thing as you heard that thing start beeping so I have a I have a list of things that yeah you can do so I'm just gonna go through a couple of them then you could do them yourself if you want I'm gonna hold it down now I'm in the menu I'm gonna go to number six see so let it go so it goes into the menu but for some reason it didn't work so let's go try a battery my battery so battery is number nine so let's, let's, let's test my battery voltage in my vehicle so we go to number nine and then let it go oh that's why it's not letting me because I reset the whole damn thing so I have to go back and unlock the menu so I have to go to number 19 again to unlock the the futures or the hidden futures on here so 19 so once it says off push it so then I'm gonna go to numbers number nine see now it works see how before I didn't but number 19 is like the number one you need to go to the, and turn off turn on all the futures so my battery voltage is 12 point whatever that number is supposed to be so on here it says that your battery voltage should be four, 14 minus 12 so two points off or two volts off so I'm still okay so now I'm gonna um, see my I'm gonna go back to number let me see six to get the fuel level sensor so I'm going to hold it to get out of the menu and go all the way over to number six. One, two, three, five, six. So let it go. I should go into the menu now. So here's my voltage. Oh, no, temperature. That's temp no, 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 no. That's um, fuel level sensor, input, and liters. So that's that. I don't really understand it, but okay. Then I'm gonna go try temperature and speed. I'm gonna go to number seven. So remember, see how when there's just a number, but when it's a zero on the side, that means it's in, you're in the menu. Some of these menus have um, like 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. So if you want to go into 7.3, it's a different little menu within that menu. So you're gonna go to push it one time. It should let you go to the next one. And you push it again. It will let you go to the next one. And push it again. Let you go into the into the next one. Because uh, number seven has three, one, two, three, four inputs. So number seven point three is vehicle speed. Uh, but I'm not driving, so it won't show me show me that. So I'm just going to try and make a 10 minute video, i got 30 seconds, so hopefully this video helped you. Uh, so um, I'll be putting everything in the description and um, you can mess around with yours. And um, yeah, that's about it. So if you, if you have any more information on this that I don't know of, please uh, feel free to uh, let me know because I'm, I'm willing to learn, you know. Um, 
I like to learn as I go. That's how I post these videos. I'm not a professional mechanic or anything. I'm, a, I'm just a DIY guy. Just do do things myself and save money. So I like to save money for you guys and and for myself. But if you guys had have any um, video response or any um, tricks on doing things, make things easier, just feel free to let me know or um, do a video response because I'm always willing. Um, I'm always open to options, you know, to opinions. Okay, so I'll be putting up more videos, and um, thank you for watching. So I'm gonna, before I leave, I'm gonna do this, uh, do this test again, the code test that everybody likes to show off. Let me see. Let me get to the menu. The menu is number two. Number two. So. Here's going to be the full view of it. Yeah, hold on. Let me block this light. Okay, here we go. For some reason, everybody likes to show this off, but this is how you do it. So thank you for watching.